the paper mill wasn't always the most pleasant area to, to work in because it was so hot. A person kind of like shows you around, shows you what your duties are and, and everything like that. You get one, you know, the person who show you one day, you're on your own the next day. I was like, oh, great. You know, I would rather have a couple days of, of kind of like orientation before you turn me loose. I remember hearing the story of some guy getting pulled through the rollers in a paper mill. And, and he said, like, and my dad had seen it, and he thought when the guy came out the other end, he thought the guy was already dead. But apparently it wasn't, uh, um, or apparently he wasn't dead, but he broke every bone in his body. You know, it just kind of crushed him. And, I, and I've seen the guy, you know, working there. Uh, it's, you know, he got a per- pretty much a, a pretty much uh, a full-time job just doing whatever he felt like doing. You know, he just kind of like painted the curbs and, you know, did that kind of stuff outside. He just worked whatever he wanted, you know, however long he wanted. If he didn't feel like it, he could go home. And, and, uh, but he probably got paid for the entire shift, you know, regardless of how long he worked. But I, I think it was mainly out of a settlement, you know, so but it was... Uh, I was thinking, like, oh, my God, you know. And then when I started working in the paper mill and then, you know, being sent down into the pit and then were, they were pulling that kind of trap of turning the machine on, you know, while you're still in there, I was thinking, oh, great, you know, and that's going to happen to me. Well, yeah, well, and a lot of the guys, um, you know, walked around with, you know, with hand, you know, like this, you know, they lost a finger.